What is going on YouTube? I am Endless Win. Welcome back to Season 1, Episode 31 of Minecraft P2P Single Player Series. Uh, I'm working on a few things. And oh yeah, there is an elevator. Oh, no, I'm gonna go with this simple elevator. Um, oh, we need some wool. Okay, well that uh, kind of forces my hand on the other thing that I wanted to do. Then, huh? Uh, that blocks the elevator, and you go and you jump up there because there's something up there, and you put it on the elevator elevator block there. Uh, how much string do I have? I've got enough string for... Yeah, I've got more than enough string. Uh, so I can do it that way. I'm going to do it that way then. Uh, so I'll make this elevator. It's nice and simple. And you can stack these over and over and over and over and over. Um, so if there was another one up there, I could jump again, uh, and I go down, just hit shift, so, just another little area, I uh, a few more machines, might turn this strictly into power, and that strictly into machines, I don't know, I'm still, still working it out, it's, uh, it's a work in progress. Um, so in the last episode, we killed the Ender Dragon and the Wither, and in between, build us another tank, for something that I want to be doing here pretty shortly, um, Got another heart, so I got uh, that fifth yellow heart down there. You can see. Uh, made a door here. It's dark outside right now. Dug a little area over there. I'll show you all that later. It's not important now. Uh, nothing happened over here in Thomcraft World. A um, little bit of stuff did happen outside, and so we need to get to building a few things. Uh, the first thing I wanted to do, because uh, it's everything else is already set up for it. So I wanted to make the harvester from Minecraft Reloaded because we've been talking about doing Minecraft Reloaded for a long time and it is about time to do it. Um, so these uh, plastic sheets are raw plastic. I've already cooked it up. Raw plastic is uh, just rubber cooked again. So resin to rubber to raw plastic. Um, and so we'll take what we're going to need. All these mine factory reloaded uh, uh, machines, they all do quite a bit of that rubber. And glass, and the half of it here. Alright, back to the harvester. You need that. Redstone reception coil. And two shears. And that does it for us. Okay, so this needs power and it needs um, inventory as well. And so, let me see, is it daytime yet? It looks like daytime. Probably not. Come out here. This uh, night vision really messes with you. Let me come up here so I don't have any creeper issues. Uh, like that was really going to happen. Cleared out a lot of area over here. Um, you can see all the sugar's gone from over there. And I want to put the harvester to take care of this. Uh, wow, they're dropping hearts like crazy now. Um, I want to put this harvester uh, over here. You guys can go away. I'm busy. We'll play later. Uh, so the harvester's gonna go right there. Something like. Uh, uh, wait, that's the wrong way. Uh, I don't think. Yeah, okay. It's always a risk. It's some of the machines do it, some of the machines don't. All right, so you want the this, the harvester part, actually facing out. Um, and 
then we will out from the back here and from underneath here. So um, out of the back we're going to pipe items out and for this particular one the only thing we're going to be piping out is sugar. Um, and then from the bottom we'll run power. So we're going to need to run quite a bit. And let's see if I was smart enough to yes, save this. So instead of having to dig out a big old area, I dig out a lot smaller area. Really, really fast at the same time. Um, so now, okay. Well, I'm here, might as well show you this. Oh, wait, this is the wrong room. Oh, that actually helps. So I need to go not as far and go down. And I should run into uh, the inventory. Hello. Inventory and power here. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Something like not that far. We'll say that far. Actually, we'll bring it back even one more. And dig down. We're just gonna keep digging until we hit bedrock. Alright, so let's see where we're at. too far. You don't know where we're at. Okay, here we go. There. That's what we're looking for. So we've got part of the equation here. Uh, so we'll dig this little sucker out there. Okay. Uh, so we'll connect this pipe. But we also need to figure out and we'll probably actually just morph into uh, that mode here. Turn our jet back off and just use a creative flight. There we go. Okay, so if we keep going this way, eventually we'll run into power. I'll um, give you an idea of what I'm doing here. And so y'all kind of got the gist and perfect. So I'll run over here, I'll get all the power, and I'll get the in the cable, and once it's uh, running, I'll bring it all back. Alright, welcome back guys. Um, here, I'll show you what it's done, because it's already got power. You can see here that it, uh, it didn't do a very big area, and I'll show you all why here in a minute. Uh, let me make sure that we've got... Uh, actually, I'll probably just disconnect this real quick, because I realize I don't have a... Uh, uh, import bus. Um, not a big deal though. We'll run that there and that there. Um, so if I turn this back on, uh, you can see it's got energy because it's got a internal buffer. And it's got plenty of energy because it's not going to use anything. It has this little tick bar here. It goes five ticks and then it sees if there's any work. And then it just keeps waiting for work, waiting for work. So it won't use any energy until it needs to work. Uh, and it won't have any work until um, we break some of these and put it here in the area that it can't see. So if I put it there or there, you see there, it, it's going to check that area, but it's not going to do anything else. Then it'll just automatically spit it out the back. So if I put a chest there, um, it'll automatically spit that out the back, but we're probably just going to uh, connect this in the cable directly to the back of the harvester. Uh, so you can see it did use some of its energy now. And you see here it's got a little bit of sludge. Uh, the sludge will continue to build up. I don't know if we're going to do anything with it because we talked about... Yeah. Uh, these guys, they have been like this this entire series. Um, That was weird. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I don't know if we're going to do the sludge. We talked about just doing all the liquids. I don't know, why not sludge, you know? Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Um, we, we, we've got a while to decide before we're gonna, we want to do sludge. But some of the other machines that we're going to use will also use sludge. And then we can boil it uh, for energy. Not a bad idea. Uh, but at the same time, we're going to have plenty of other ways to do energy. So let me stop rambling. Let me go get a uh, an import bus, and 
what else did we need? That's what happens when I talk to y'all. I get all confused and forget what I was going to say and what I was going to do. Um, oh yeah, the upgrades, upgrades. So I'll show you here. Um, over here, this is an upgrade slot. And so that's why I only did this 3x3. Three three. Um, so what we need to do is we need to upgrade it a couple times. So it'll do a larger area. Um, I'm not sure exactly how big we're going to upgrade it, but we'll get into how to go over that too here in just a moment. So let me uh, cut the recording and get everything together, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so we're going to go over a few of these machines and uh, make the ones we need. Uh, we'll do the planter, just not right now. Fisher, uh, we're not going to do the Fisher. Harvester is what we were just working on. Rancher, we can go ahead and do that. That's real simple. Um, gonna definitely need these and I'm gonna need a lot more glass. Take a whole stack of this. I'm actually just gonna make a couple of these because uh, pretty much all of them need it. Mine factory reloaded. We've got back to where we were. We were on the rancher. Two sets of shears again, and we're missing condo, uh, coil here. Almost the exact same recipe, uh, except this one has a fluid duct. So we've got a rancher. We'll keep that on us. Uh, fertilizer, don't need it. We're not going to get into the vet stuff right now. That's kind of uh, a little overboard for what we're going to be doing with these animals. Uh, no item collector or block breaker. Uh, weather collectors if you want to collect the rain. Sludge boiler gives us energy so we, we can use that. Uh, sewer collects sludge from animals from the uh, from your farm that you have. Um, breeder, we are going to do that. Uh, golden carrots shouldn't be too hard. Okay, uh, golden apple, we've probably got one in there. Yeah, okay, so we need a, another one of these coil, uh, not coils, but uh, yeah, one of the, uh, yeah, coils. And some more purple dye. Um, yeah, we got purple dye. All right, so with any luck, we have a breeder. We have a rancher. We need something. We're missing something, guys. It's like we can breed them. And we can take care of them. We need to move them. So that would be the chronotyper, which is down here. I feel like we're still missing something else. Like, you know, we're missing like the last thing to do. Mm -hmm. What's like the final thing for these guys? Oh, that's right. We need a grinder. We need this bad boy, so we're going to need an M-bar sword and some um, the other M-bar gears, the other other M-bar gears, that one, two of those, we have the books, another coil, and that should get us our grinder. Okay, so what are we missing? Rancher breeder. Hmm. What did I just do with that? Okay, there it is. Threw it in the inventory. Okay. So, um, our plan is we'll fly up in the air so these guys don't mess with us during the middle of the night. Got a couple dark mages and stuff. What we're going to do, uh, we'll do this in the next episode, but what we'll do is we'll have a breeder and it'll give them food automatically. So that one's going to need power and uh, access to our inventory. Um, it's got an internal inventory, so we'll just need to make sure it stays stocked with seeds, it stays so stocked with wheat and carrots to feed because we're going to have all four of our basic Minecraft animals in here. Uh, we're going to need a chronotyper, which will move the, the babies from one pin to the next and then the babies will grow up. Uh, 
and we'll have the rancher on the side with our adult animals and it'll get us milk and it'll give us um, wool so we'll have that and we'll fill one of these um, tanks up over here full of milk because I like milk it's good so why not have a hundred thousand buckets of milk that I can swim in um, and then we'll have the grinder which will be the, the final step for our friends um, until they pass into the next world of animal happiness or whatever so yeah we'll get that one taken care of in the next one and we'll do a, a few other mine factory things I think we are going to do um, a little bit crazy tree farm using the planter and the harvester um, and I'll show y'all why we're going to do that one in the next episode why we're going to do that particular tree farm instead of anything else um, like these because if you notice these well these are a little different but it, you can only really do at most four different types and with these you'll be able to do rubber and regular trees so we don't want just regular rubber and regular trees. We've got a lot of extra trees that we're going to want to make. So that's what we're going to do. That's why we're going to be doing Mine Factory Reloaded. Uh, everybody wants to come say hi. Alright guys, hope y'all enjoyed the episode. If you did, like and subscribe, and I will see y'all in the open world.